Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that when we examine the Star Wars roadmap, there's a lot of things to offer from John and Dave's perspective, given the fact that they are dubbing the Ahsoka Tano series as the home run show for Disney Plus Star Wars. That's what the Disney executives keep dubbing it as. And that's one thing that they really are preparing for to debut by this fall. On the other end of the spectrum, we have Kathleen Kennedy working on shows like Skeleton Crew and The Acolyte that's really going to strip things away from George Lucas's philosophy. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now, there's been a lot of things going on with Kathleen Kennedy. She's been talking down to the fans as of late, both on the sides of Star Wars and Indiana Jones, and really kind of just doing the worst job possible when promoting things like the Acolyte Skeleton Crew and Indy 5. Now, at the latest, Kathleen Kennedy was able to talk more about the fandoms of both franchises, and it really wasn't the brightest thing for Kathleen Kennedy to really put forward out there, and the poorest attempt to really kind of gain you know, any kind of confidence in these upcoming projects. So we're going to be diving into every single thing that Kathleen Kennedy had to say about Indiana Jones 5, The Dial of Destiny, The Acolyte, Skeleton Crew, and what she thinks about the Star Wars fandom and the Indiana Jones fandom, so to speak. Now, we all know that Kathleen Kennedy is all about change. What she only wants to focus on are techniques to only create new fans and ignore the hardcore or the long supporting loyal fans. And that's not the way you do business. I mean, that's simply how you do not do any form of business in Hollywood. In reality, you should really pay close attention to how you cater to the fandoms. This is exactly why movies out there like Sonic and Sonic 2 performed so very well and why the Super Mario Brothers movie probably is going to really do fantastic and one of the greatest examples out there. Now, with that being said, with Disney and Lucasfilm preparing to make some big announcements later this year for the roadmap of Star Wars, recently, however, Kennedy got involved in an interview where she was able to talk more about Indiana Jones 5 and Star Wars and went on to criticize both fandoms that did not sit well with many. Kennedy went on to state the following, I feel that both fandoms have this sense of entitlement that we have to deliver what's to be expected for Indy and Star Wars. To me and to others here at Lucasfilm with our projects like Acolyte and Skeleton Crew, we feel it's unhealthy to listen to the fans, because if you do, all you do is fall into this pit of writer's block, and it's not good for our creators. After working on the Dial of Destiny with James Mangold, I am so proud that we got to change things up with this film. The way I see it, both fandoms need to keep quiet and mind their own business when it comes to the writers doing their own job. James Mangold did a great job at tuning out the fan base as I instructed him, and he agrees with me fully on all of that and all, all those fronts. The same goes for Leslie and John Watts for our upcoming Star Wars shows Acolyte and Skeleton. Now let me stop right here from what Kathleen Kennedy's saying before I get to the next big bit is that she's doing this constant repeat cycle. She always says stuff like this about ignoring the fans and focusing on just the writers and focusing on how you can obtain new creators or new fans at that. And by the way, when you ignore the core fan base, this is when usually franchises fail or at least a specific project fails. This is exactly why so many fans were drawn away from The Last Jedi, and why so many fans were also, you know, in a very similar scenario with Boba Fett and Kenobi, which, by the way, she was heavily involved in those projects, because before that, they had iterations of becoming movies, before that was cancelled. Now, the thing about all of this is that she keeps going on about how James Mangold actually literally agreed with Kathleen Kennedy to tune out the Indiana Jones fan base. Does this spark some kind of concern over how the Dial of Destiny is going to perform? Is it going to be yet another failure? Is it going to be the new Last Jedi situation under Kathleen Kennedy's leadership? It may very well be, who knows? I mean, in isolation, when you look at the actual trailer, it looks okay to me, but let's not forget, the trailers for The Last Jedi were very well done, too. Just keep that in mind there. That's a very good point, by the way. Now, the next thing that I do want to go over here real quick is that she goes on to state the following. 
And we feel that by tuning out social media and not catering to toxic fandoms, we have done a superior job that we could have never accomplished if we did listen to the fans. The fans that are actually raising concern over all our shows and films are just a minority anyways, and we try not to get bothered over all of that. Harrison wanted this to be his last movie because of the fandom expecting too much, and we felt the same. By the way, guys, she's talking about how Harrison wanted this to be the last indie movie, not his last movie in general. Um, but before I get to the last thing that Kennedy has to say, is that this, I think, I think that this does raise a couple of concerns about Indiana Jones 5, and especially Skeleton Crew and the Acolyte for many different reasons. I mean, let's be real here. It's going to create a lot of, you know, uh, skepticism by the fandoms and you know, really gearing towards the release of these projects. Again, we're a little over two months out from the Indiana Jones 5 film from debuting, and this is going to be a very big, important piece in film history. If it fails, this is going to probably be another Last Jedi scenario where a lot of fans are going to have a lot of backlash against it. Moving on. Now, she goes on to conclude, we wanted to focus on one great movie and two hit Star Wars shows. All of these we wanted to focus away from George's vision so we could create fresh material. The writing of Indy 5 and our Star Wars shows are going to bring in new fans for both franchises because we needed to break the burden of Lucas's style and vision. Now, I don't know about you guys, but again, Kathleen Kennedy always likes to put that, you know, in front and center the fact that it's all about ignoring the fans and focusing strictly on the writers and their own vision that's where you made a big mistake with the last jedi make no mistake about that you know that is the main reason why a lot of fans had issues with that and a lot of it had to do with the fact of what they did with luke and what they did with the overall plot and stuff like that and that brings us to you know what we are about to face when it comes to indy 5 Skeleton Crew, and The Acolyte. These are three big Lucasfilm productions under Kathleen Kennedy's wing that could all very well be failures. Again, I'm not here to be pessimistic against ND5. I'm hoping that it turns out to be at least somewhat decent, but given that this is strictly run by Kathleen Kennedy, I really am and have been for the past couple of months just very not confident about how this movie is going to turn out. Again, like I said before, the trailers, they look solid, they look pretty decent to me, but you gotta remember how The Last Jedi turned out with their trailers and the actual movie. Just keep that in mind there. So, I don't know what to say about James Mangold, Leslie Headland, and John Watts. You know, these three creators could very well be the three people responsible for three big Lucasfilm failures this year and next year. So, anyways, Guys, fill me in below in the comments what you guys have to say about what Kathleen Kennedy had to say about both sides of the fandom of indie and Star Wars. And if you guys really did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.